the arguments that have been arrayed um, on the side of those who believe that the lunar landings were a hoax are very elaborate, and they have to be to support um, a, a theory like this. In the end, there's, there's one set of evidence that is irrefutable, and that is that there are footprints, boot prints, still on the lunar surface. But conspiracy theorists say that the footprints themselves are suspicious. The surface appears to be very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. To have a powerful rocket engine blast the surface of the moon, blasting away all of the dust, and then find footprints surrounding the lunar lander, that to me would be an impossibility. Photo after photo reveals that the lunar surface surrounding the LEM is covered with footprints. But Casing says there's something even more difficult to explain. The fact that there's no blast crater under the LEM is one of the most conclusive pieces of evidence that I find supporting the hoax. In fact, no sign of a blast crater is visible for any of the six lunar landings. But LEM specialist Paul Fiel says he can explain why the lunar module left no crater when landing on the moon. The amount of thrust that you need coming out of the bottom of the descent engine is about 1,500, 2,000 pounds of thrust. And all that does is just push dust away. There's no burning or anything like that. Yet NASA's own scientific illustrations clearly depict a blast crater. Then there's one other point. If they had truly landed on the moon, this dust would have then descended on the lunar lander, on the foot pads, and we find not a trace of dust on the foot pads. When I discovered that alone, <laughs> I said, no way am I looking at a lunar lander that landed on the moon. Could it be that the LEM was just a prop on a giant lunar movie set? When Armstrong said, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind, the footprint that he made could have easily been made in Area 51. 